Hello, hello, my lovelies. It's another beautiful day. That's right. To read a story. Go grab your stuffy. Today's read is called The Proudest Blue. And it's a story of hijab and family. The writer is Olympic medalist Ibtihaj Mohammed with SK Ali. And the art is by Hatem Ali. Let's get into this read. The Proudest Blue. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink. But Asiya shakes her head. I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean. If you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky. It's the first day, hijab. Asiya knows it. I know it. We're sisters. The next day I wait. A new backpack new light-up shoes i feel special i feel like twirling asiya comes out of the house and i stop it's the most beautiful first day of school ever i'm walking with a princess so i pretend i'm one too but even princesses have to stop to cross the street asiya takes my hand in hers says come on faiza we speed walk it. 14 steps, 14 light ups to get across. <laughs> Asiya takes me to my line first, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. <laughs> What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers, a scarf. I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again loud enough, a scarf, hijab. Oh, she whispers. Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important. Mama had said it means being strong. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side, 27 steps to see Asiya. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Faiza, Asiya's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited about the first day of hijab? I ask. She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby, a boy pointing at Asiya. Why? Asiya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asiya's hijab is like the ocean wave into the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said. But if you understand who you are, one day they will too. In class, I draw a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it so loud, the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asiya drew a picture too. Recess time is for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asiya and her friends. Near a boy yelling, I'm gonna pull that tablecloth off your head. Asiya's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asiya's hijab is blue. Only blue. Asiya turns away. Her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama says, 
Don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them. They're not yours to keep. They belong only to those who set them. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. The end. This is such a beautiful read, The Proudest Blue, a story of hijab and family. Maybe you wear a hijab or you know someone that wears a hijab. Well, celebrate who you are because you're enough just the way you are and you're perfect just the way you are. And don't forget, you're also amazing. Until the next time, my friends, keep on reading.